Indeed, we're very honored that God has given to us one another. Turn to somebody and tell them I celebrate your greatness. To understand the gifts of the saints is something that is often missed in the church. We want other gifts, but not understanding the gifts of the saints. The person who's sitting next to you is a gift to you. Our challenge is that some of the saints have never unwrapped themselves. They have never let themselves out of the box. And consequently, it is our loss and not simply yours. What's hindering you from being you? I think in these years of being saved, I've heard it. I can't say all, I'm sure there's something else, but I've heard quite a bit of it. My pastor won't allow me. The other people talk about me. Somebody else doesn't think I have any gifts. I never think like that. I don't believe there's a man big enough to hinder me from what God is assigning me to do. I might not be able to do it at your house, and I might not need to do it at your house. That's one thing we have to learn, that there are some houses that you don't need to operate that gift because that gift is clearly operated in the house. But the house will train you how to operate that gift as you go forth in great ministry. Pastor Griffin, I tell the saints that I was a national evangelist. You remember. People call me a great preacher. You remember. But when I came home, they let me know, you ain't no wonder up in here. I was in this church with my uh, pastor and others. I preached all over the largest churches in PAW before becoming pastor, well, after our pastor left and we had a district elder, district elder Haynes came. I think that changed a couple of times. But during the other time, I never preached on a Sunday morning in my life at the church, ever. I preached all over. Somebody said, didn't you get angry? No. All that power they had in that house. And I had enough sense to know that people came to church to hear God. But you know, they decide, Paul tells us, some of them decide I wanted to come to Apollos. And so what I'm trying to say to you is, Stop getting discouraged about your home church when you go back. Just stop. They won't recognize you as a healer. There's a whole lot of sick folk on the street. I'm telling you that you will spend the rest of your life in bondage of what a person said you're not. 
never fulfilling who you are. I come here to release you today. I'm going to speak to you from a passage of scripture in the book of the Exodus. And we're going to be going to the 25th chapter. going to be at the 25th chapter of the Exodus. Most of the time you have become familiar with the ministry that I give. I speak to the person and you that are going to be evangelists and you want to be effective. Always learn to speak to us. You'll be called back to speak again can't just get the idea of just speaking to a building. If you're going to tell us what the church must do, tell me how I can be a part of that. Are you following me? So when you hear me talk about songs like this, I'm talking about you. This sanctuary. Come. 